Welcome to the Virtual Pathfinder channel. This is a review of the Olympus 9mm f8 fisheye body cap lens for Micro Four Thirds cameras. We will take a closer look at all important aspects of this lens. If you are interested in photography, lenses and camera equipment, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. I am interested to hear your opinion about this lens. Please write what you think about it in the comment section below. The lens in this review is called a body cap fisheye lens, which I would say is not really a full-fledged lens. The reason for that is the very simple focusing, with only three positions marked. Infinity, 0.2 meters, and a stop between those positions, with no distance indicated. That setting is really all that can be changed on this lens, since the aperture is fixed on f8. Having said that, it is still not a huge compromise, since the small aperture creates large depth of field and almost all of the image will be in focus from a short distance from the lens. But the small aperture only lets in a small amount of light, therefore this lens can mainly be used daytime. It is made mainly of plastic which makes it extremely light at the same time as it is very compact that makes it easy to bring along. It fits without problem in a shirt pocket. This kind of lens would normally make me suspicious, but it's assuring to see the Olympus brand name on the lens. Although the image quality is not on the same level as other Olympus lenses, it is actually quite okay in many situations. It comes at a much lower price than more typical Olympus lenses, which reflects the limitations in the specifications. This is an interesting and an unusual lens with pros and cons. First I will look at the physical characteristics of the lens, then the optics and functionality before moving on to image quality. Finally I will present my conclusions about the lens, with some comments about how to use it and what kind of photography it's good for. But first let's have a look at some sample images. Let's start with the physical characteristics of the lens. The lens is mainly made of plastic which makes it really light. I measure the weight to be about 30 grams, which is extremely light. I found the length to be 13 millimeters, and that is extremely compact. There is no filter thread or lens hood. It does not support autofocusing. There is a small lever to set the focus distance with three fixed positions infinity 0.2 meters and a position with no specified distance between the other two positions. That is the only setting on this lens, since the aperture is fixed at f8. If the focus lever is pushed beyond infinity, a lens protection cover slides down over the lens, so no lens cap is needed. 
the lens is not weather sealed. The focal length is 9mm as previously mentioned that corresponds to 18mm lens for a full frame camera which feels kind of a semi fisheye lens. The angle of view seems to be around 140 degrees compared to for instance the Samyang 7.5mm fisheye lens which has about 180 degree angle of view. The lens does not support automatic aperture control, the aperture is fixed at f8 the closest focus distance is 0.2 meters according to the focus setting. The lens is fully manual with no support for autofocus and it does not have image stabilization. The lens does not communicate the EXIF metadata to the camera. In other words, the focal length and aperture setting for each shot is not saved to the image files. I have shot a photo of a test pattern to check if there is vignetting or distortion in the images. There is a lot of distortion and a certain amount of vignetting, which is common in this kind of lens. Both distortion and vignetting can be corrected in post-processing. I have made a separate video about defishing fisheye photos. If you are interested in correcting distortion in fisheye images, please have a look at that video. The sharpness is reasonably good, not on the same level as Olympus ordinary lenses, but can generate images with acceptable sharpness if focus distance is set correctly. Due to the wide angle of view, there are often very bright and very dark areas in the same image, so it's very easy to overexpose the bright areas. If the image is shot slightly underexposed, the image can be corrected in post-processing using the setting for shadows and highlights. There is a slight purple fringing for high contrast areas such as dark objects against a bright background, which is the effect of a chromatic aberration. It is not very much and that can also be removed to a large extent in post-processing if necessary. As far as I can tell, the color rendering is fairly good. When looking at flare, mainly shooting against the sun, there is a very limited amount of flare, I would say it's reasonably controlled. I recommend being careful when directing the lens near a very bright light source, such as the sun, since there is no lens hood. From the images I've shot against strong light, this doesn't seem to be a big problem. With this lens, there is virtually no autofocus blur because of the small aperture. This lens is useful since it's ultra portable and easy to bring along anywhere. The price is very attractive compared to other lenses of similar focal length. It can capture a lot of surrounding environments such as landscapes, but it's also good for certain kinds of street photography. The distortion in the images can be used as an artistic effect. Here are my conclusions about this lens. I summarize the positive and the negative. First, the negative. The lens has manual focus, fixed aperture, no EXIF data transferred to the camera, and it's not weather sealed. It has some chromatic aberration, distortion and vignetting. The sharpness is good, but not top level. The positive. It is relatively cheap compared to other fisheye lenses. It is extremely lightweight and compact. The image quality is decent considering the price and the form factor. It will be used a lot because it's so easy to bring along. This lens is useful for wide landscape photography as well as street photography. It can also be used for action photography in daylight for shooting with a fixed focus at a certain distance from the lens. The small aperture gives large depth of field but does not gather much light to the sensor. The distortion makes it not suitable for documentary photography. As mentioned, it can be used for artistic photography. For certain situations it can be used for action photography. But I would say it is not optimal for that purpose. 
This lens is a lot cheaper than other fisheye lenses, but on the other hand those have better specifications when it comes to functionality and image quality. I think the image quality is good for what it is, but if image quality is the highest priority, this is maybe not the way to go. Although the price for a more normal, cheap, manual fisheye lens is about two and a half times more expensive than this lens, I find it hard to tell whether this is cheap or expensive. This lens is just so different from the other lenses in almost every way. If you look at the alternatives to this lens, there are hardly any alternatives that I know of that is near this lens. The closest I can get is one of the cheaper manual fisheye lenses, which is the Samyang 7.5mm f3.5 lens. But that lens has a range of aperture settings, a continuous focus ring, and gathers a lot more light. When it comes to the optics, I don't know, but I think it is sharper as well. As mentioned, the price is about two and a half times higher for that lens, so it's not really comparable. The only comparable alternative when considering the price is the panorama recording function in many smartphones. By scanning the surroundings, a panorama image can be recorded. Since most people have smartphones, then it comes without additional cost. The resulting image is very different, however, with less distortion, etc. In many cases, that may be a good alternative. So finally, is this fisheye lens good value for the money? My conclusion is, this lens is good value. If the form factor is important and if image quality and control over the image is less important. On the other hand, if image quality is more important than form factor, or if more precise control of the image is important, then it may be better to save the money for a real fisheye lens. And maybe, while waiting, use the panorama function in the smartphone. If you find this video interesting, please like and subscribe. I will soon make a review of the Olympus 25mm f1.8 lens for Micro Four Thirds cameras. Until then, have a nice week and stay safe.